the planet Earth. This is Okira One. We're broadcasting live here in this uh, beautiful afternoon. It's about six o'clock. We're here in East Los Angeles at Self Help Graphics. It's the Mexica New Year. We're here to celebrate our ancestry, you know, culture, dancing, music, art, all that good stuff. Hi, my name is Melissa Martinez. I'm uh, Antonio Martinez's husband. I'm here making jewelry uh, for Mexica New Year. My particular expertise happens to be earrings. Um, I'm here for Mexica New Year to for renewal, exactly what the year of the reed is, renewal and uprooting. Um, we've all come together here as an organization to share our talents and our uh, our work with everybody else. So that's it. And thank you, I'm very happy to be here. Elena Esparza. I'm a doctor of chiropractic and natural medicine, and I'm here in I'm here in support of uh, the Proyecto Jardín in East LA, Boyle Heights. Um, my work is working with herbs and food as medicine, and to promote medicine and to promote natural healing for our community and our families, and to teach them how to help themselves and help each other and so what I have are herb, herbal teas that um, I prepare that we some that we grow in our garden and some that I get in other places but it's all about healing in a big way and, and, and taking care of the people and, and being able to give back. Thanks. Hello my name is Daisy and I work here with Proyecto Jardin Community Garden and we're here at Self Help Graphic celebrating the Mexica New Year and we're really um, honored to be here to be part of the celebration. We have a half acre garden here in Boyle Heights um, behind White Memorial Medical Center right off of Cesar Chavez and uh, we're here pretty much uh, promoting our space, promoting the work that we're doing. Uh, pretty much uh, we're an outdoor learning center and uh, our hopes are to be able to um, train and educate people from the community on how to be able to grow their own food and become more sustainable. So that's kind of what our work is and then you see our products which is how we are sustainable so pretty much it's looking at how we can um, be an example of things that can be done and then we also have our caracol marketplace which is our um, it's a grassroots economic development initiative and we call it an initiative because it's our intent to move towards being more sustainable but creating our own economic base so Currently, we, that's our only source of funding. We don't have any funding from any outside sources. We're all volunteers. So this is a way for us to be able to fundraise and create money and raise funds ourselves. So we're here, you know, working with other independent vendors and representing just the work that we do. Hi, um, I'm actually here representing the Caracol Marketplace and the Proyecto Jardín as well. And right there is a beautiful spot of land right on the other side of uh, White Memorial Hospital. If you're right on Cesar Chavez, it's between State and Boyle, and it's on Bridge Street, 1718 Bridge Street, and it's in Boyle Heights. So right there, I mean, it's an exemplary garden. It is a place where the community can come and learn urban, urban farming practices and learn how they can grow their own food in small spaces, learn from a lot of people in the community that are also taking a direction towards learning about how to grow self-sustainable foods, environments, um, electrical harvesting, and anything else that you can think of that has to deal with recycling in, in the city, Los Angeles. It's, I mean, a hard place to live at when you're trying to think about nature. Got concrete everywhere, but right there's a nice little spot of land where we can go and 
share our peace with the earth and share our peace with ourselves because ultimately one day we'll come back to the earth and we have to thank the earth for that. Oh, lasso kamal. In this time and age, there are a lot of things that are made genetically modified uh, seeds, genetically modified food, engineered. It's really important that we um, grow organically because our children are the ones that are eating from this uh, type of food that we don't not sure about and a lot of it has been tested and it's causing cancer and, and there are a lot of diseases in our, our with our in our people and in our environment so this is what we do as a community to um, to create a better future for our next future generations just like events like this where you come and you hear people uh, singing you hear you see artwork you see families co cooking food collectively doing artwork pieces so that our generations and our youth can see all of this that's happening all these beautiful things that we're creating within our communities and it's really important that we do this because we need to educate our children just like um, right now trying to take charter schools Academia Semillas del Pueblo and where they're teaching children other languages, where our children can have three languages, four languages, five languages. Why within our community? We can have this resource, we can have access to this. So this is all about access and learning, and it's not something that we have to go to Whole Foods or somewhere without, but we bring it within our community, and we really uprise and inspire within our own communities. So this is what we're about, using natural healthcare products, planning organically, doing our artwork, sharing it, and you know, to make a better future for all of us. All right, I'll just pick up, I'll just pick up. Yo, what's up everybody? This is your boy right here, Emiliano Miranda, hanging out at South Help Graphics. That's right, don't get it twisted, right here in beautiful East LA. And if you're not here, you gotta get here. This is by the community, for the community. I'm telling you, South Help Graphics is all about the youth and everybody right here in one complete circle. It's 360 because the end represents the beginning. Check it, South Hop Graphics, don't get it twisted. What up, I'm Tokes. Tokes is uh, my nickname, short for Tokumbo. I'm Nigerian, I've been in the States about 13, 14 years. The reason I'm here is this is the new year. This is like my second year, you know, just being down with Self Help Graphics as a whole. And the reason I like it, just in the name, Self Help, it's like, do it, make it. Don't be a customer, like everyone over here is doing something that they're vending. But right now you're looking at a parking lot with like sheds and tables and whatever, but this is a mall. This is the kind of mall I go to, you know? And like you got my friends in the house, restitutionpress.com over here. Got Eli Sipsis with the sick art on here. It's like I was bringing family to come meet more family, you know, just people that come together. You know, I make my own posters, I make my own books, I make my own clothes, I make my own this, I make my own that, you know what I mean? And it's just like, just bring them to a family situation. And just off the strength of everyone that shows up to celebrate this new year, people come in and they see what's on the street. Oh, you guys, you know, you're on the street. You guys are on the street. I see you everywhere. That's right. We're all L.A. We're all family. We're not Gap. We're not Banana Republic, blah, 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 blah. I ain't selling you gas. You know, I rode a bicycle over here. And so, like, it's that kind of thing. It's just organic, do-it-yourself, self-help. I'm Eli Sipsis. I'm a designer and uh, illustrator. This is a design of mine right here. It's a human heart, and I've been working on it for the last few weeks. Um, here I have all my work, my silk screens, uh, designs, drawings, paintings, a couple t-shirts, posters, and prints. Um, here with a good friend of mine from Restitution Press, and we're here just trying to make our ends meet. My name is Ryan Graff, aka Mullet. I'm here with the Restitution Press, and we're here to represent street art and growing self-publishing West Coast style. We make our own books. You want to get published, you want to be in a newspaper, we got that shit. Thanks to this festival, we're here to make it happen. We got all these nice books some prints, some live painting, we love it. Thank you for coming, see you next year.